they're getting the rail pass. And we just got ours extended. We're on the move today. So today we're going to Osaka. It's like a three hour bullet train. And my brother-in-law is absurdly excited. <laughs> but first he saw this place that has a cartoon on it. He wants to buy cartoon food. So this is, I think, an N700 Supreme. That's what this. That sounds is really called. fancy. It's a two by three. So mm -hmm. these are like the really, really fast ones. It takes about three hours from Tokyo Station all the way to Osaka Station, and this entire train car is supposed well, to be absolutely so packed. It's one of the most popular routes in Japan. for the custard. $35 a couple, which is like the cheapest hotel price that we've had since we got in Japan, which is awesome. And it looks amazing. It's, I don't even know where to start. There's so much here. It looks like we have a really big living room with a TV and the world's smallest coffee table. Tamper scale. Oh, how many people can we fit into a Japanese bathroom? Three. At least three. <laughs> we can fit more. <laughs> We have a nice open air kitchen. This is really cute. Okay. Ooh. The world's narrowest stairs. Aw, it's a really nice bedroom. There's so many beds in here. Well, it's really interesting. <laughs> it's really warm. And bedroom number three. There's three stories? There's three stories, three bedrooms. I think I counted two bathrooms for $35 a couple. Hey, it's a balcony. Cody for scale. The doorway. <laughs> So 
this is Osaka. Our Airbnb is in the cutest little neighborhood and it's so quiet and I just love just the peaceful morning that we've had. Yeah, it's a nice quiet little neighborhood. It's a nice change from Tokyo's a little bit more bustling. My sister and Cody obviously have never been here, but neither have, have you mm -hmm. and I haven't been here. So this is going to be new for all of us and this is just our first day. We're going to explore. So we're at Osaka Castle. Not even looking at the castle, but just the moat itself. I'm already so impressed. That is quite the moat. It's supposed to be, yeah, probably the most impressive castle in Japan. It's definitely one of the most famous things in Osaka, I think. So this moat back here goes all the way around, but the walls and the bridge that go there, it's made of granite and the stones didn't use any mortar. They just That's perfectly fit together. Insane. Also, I gotta say, we've seen a couple moats in our time, and this moat is easily one of the most impressive. I mean, look at the size of this bridge. Oh no. Tia for scale. <laughs> oh, this is gonna take a long time. I'm not running. You have to run. You gotta run. This is one of the more ambitious Tia for scales that we've done. It's taking her a while to get over there. She doesn't like to run in public, so. There she is, Tia for scale. It's a huge bridge. What'd you think, you saw your first Tia for scale? We're, we're gonna do another one with that tree over there. It's gonna be a Tria for scale. What? A Tria for scale. <laughs> the size of this. Oh my golly. So this is built in the late 1500s. It's reconstructed, but the castle essence has been here since the 1500s. This is massive. It's like this, this huge tower. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. <laughs> this is the seventh or eighth story up? Yeah, so the entire tower here, when it finished being rebuilt, mm -hmm. they just turned it into one giant museum. Mm -hmm. With and no photos, of course. Yeah, no photos. Um, but it is actually a really cool museum. Mm -hmm. And then there's this 360 degree lookout here, and it is insanely busy. So my two favorite things, crowds and heights, are happening right now. It's great. <laughs> This is so cool up here though. Oh it's just gosh. absolutely completely worth it. it oh. How much was it? 600 yen, so it's like $4.50. To see all this. Yeah. And it's, I think one of the coolest things about this place is that you're at this like cultural heart of Osaka and it's like this little like park full of like old buildings and old castles and then completely surrounded by the city of Osaka. It really, I mean this is, this is really one of the top like five things I think we've ever seen. Yeah. This is really, really cool. Can we go back down now? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. So apparently, besides the Osaka Castle, that's like the other huge thing you're supposed to see in Osaka. So this guy back here is apparently a mascot of a candy company. Yeah, the company that makes Pokey, the candy. Um, and apparently, a lot of people take a picture in front of it. This bridge is covered in people doing the, like, the pose. Uh, and it, their old motto for the candy was that if you ate a bit, 
of it, you'd be able to run really fast, really far. So, athlete. That's like my kind of motto. Eat candy, run fast. All right, okay, <laughs> so, so anyways, I know that we've had a lot of food videos lately, but Osaka is known as the kitchen of Japan. Mm -hmm. And we're not here for that long, but we are gonna try and eat. You guys excited? Oh, we're excited. We're gonna get some food. And I hear that Osaka is known for its takoyaki. How do you think the food's gonna taste? Um, mate, it's good. <laughs> This place is popping. Holy moly, I was not expecting this. There's all these uh, restaurants with like huge elaborate displays and animatronics and stuff. And like neon signs everywhere. And Tokyo has a lot of this, but not to like the scale of this place. It kind of feels like, like Moki said earlier, it feels like Vegas, but like on steroids. Yeah, it's kind of like a grittier, like more fun, yeah. outgoing version of Tokyo, it feels like. Mm -hmm. This is so cool though, and there's so much food. It smells like food, like there's fried food. It's so, so good. Mm. Cody found takoyaki finally. He's been wanting to try it since we got here. Alright, moment of truth. Alright. We found takoyaki. Do you want to go first? No, you go first. No, no, you've, no. Been, you've been waiting for this for like years. This is your takoyaki moment. Okay, takoyaki is an octopus ball covered in mayonnaise, sauce, and vinegar. Bonito? Yeah. So, here we go. It's good. <laughs> oh my god, are you still <laughs> And they made these like super fresh. You should have seen how fast they did it. It was crazy. How did you do that? Hot. Oh, it's so good. It's so hot. Yeah. <laughs> like a dragon. Really? That hot? He really? handled it so much better than you. <laughs> it tastes like a soft, wet pancake covered in a sweet sauce and mayonnaise, and then a little fishy from the bonito flakes, which is shaved fish, and like chewy from the... What is this thing? Octopus. So this is called Dongo? And it's basically just a rice ball, right? Like pounded, like pounded rice, so like mochi rice. So it's literally sticky, and they put this condensed sweet soy sauce on it. There's a lot of famous restaurants here, but we're just eating street food, so just sorry. It's like a uh, a sweet soy sauce glaze, and it tastes like a almost almost like a mashed potato, like a potato based thing. It's really squishy and chewy. I can't tell if this is a dessert or like a meal. It almost tastes like it should be a dessert. Oh no, it's like my kind of meal. So oh my god. dessert thing. It's uh, dango good. Oh my god. <laughs> but I'm... At this place, they have a ton of different sauces you can choose from to put on your chicken, and I chose barbecue sauce. I feel like every country claims to make the best fried chicken. We'll see what Japan, how Japan ranks. I don't really like the twirly sticks, it makes it hard to eat. <laughs> That's pretty good. The outside is really like um, flaky and cr like the crust is really good. And the inside chicken is really soft and tender. Barbecue sauce is, is okay. It kind of tastes like Cracker Barrel barbecue sauce, but the chicken overall is pretty good. So some random person commented on the last video saying that I'm not adventurous, so I'm going to eat my chicken with chocolate sauce. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> is it actually good? It really is. It works really well together. You guys gotta try it. It's really good. Are you guys gonna try it? Can you try it? It's yeah. really good. Okay, we're all trying it. Hey Moki. 
<laughs> that's good. <laughs> it's good. I don't really care for it. A lot of you guys and some of our friends that have been to Osaka before have recommended a specific jiggly cheesecake and I've been talking about going to this place for days so I'm dragging everybody there to go get it. Moment of truth! <laughs> oh, look at this! <laughs> it's so jiggly! And it's not as heavy as I thought it would be. I feel like kind of a savage eating it just like this. Look how fluffy that is. They have steam coming off of it. I feel like they just made it. And also there's raisins. I wasn't expecting that. The bottom has like raisin sprinkles. It doesn't really taste like cheesecake. It tastes like if tofu and a marshmallow had a baby. A little bit of sugar. It tastes like this. It's kind of eggy, it's not very sweet, not very cheesy, but so good. And the raisins actually are a nice like little, little treat at the end. All right, you guys, we could do this all night, but we're gonna call it and probably go eat sushi or something. Thanks you guys for coming with us. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe! Subscribe. Uh oh. Oh, just hear him. Yeah. Is it record? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're not moving very fast, are we? I don't know exactly how fast we're moving. This dumb app's not working. <laughs> this is one of the more ambition and, yeah. This is behind the scenes of One Pack Wanderers. Yeah. Get out. See you at the ball. Chill, bruh. <laughs> Thumbnail.